In this tip of the day, let's take a look at the one CNC very powerful deburr machining operation. Now, the deburr machining operation is available within all one CNC expert CAD CAM systems. Also, it's important to note that the deburr machining operation should not be confused with chamfering. Deburring is very powerful, but its purpose is to deburr edges on the part. Now in this example, we have a couple of vice jaws, we have some parallels, and we have our part. Let's quickly select our parallel and vice jaws by using our marquee tool. I'm going to hit the letter B on the keyboard. That's the blank tool. That's just like this command right here. And that's going to temporarily hide that geometry. All right, now let's add the deburr machining operation to this part. We'll head over to the command manager. We'll go into our model tool pass and select deburr. Now for this machining operation, I'm going to be using a 1 8 inch diameter ball end mill. My RPM's at 7,000. My feed rates look great. All this looks good, so I'm going to click next. My clearance values look good. I'll click next on that. Now for the deeper amount, I would suggest anywhere from 10 thousands or less. You can go more if you want to. In this example, I'm going to use 10 thousands. We'll click next on that. Now to contain the toolpath, I'm going to use extents box. All my values look good here. We'll click finish and let 1CNC generate the toolpath. Very good. Now let's take the toolpath into simulate. We're going to right hand mouse click on the toolpath group, select simulate. I'm going to use some solid models I created earlier for our stock. So we'll click OK to that. And here we go. So if we zoom in here, you can see that one CNC is efficiently deburring all the sharp edges on the part. Now in just a little bit, I'm going to show you how you can tell one CNC to only deburr selected edges. Let's, in fact, let's do that right now. Let's pop out of the simulator. Let's go back into the deburr command. And I'm going to repeat exactly the same thing. I'm going to use the exact same tool, exact same speeds and feeds. Clearances are going to be the same. Our deburr amount is going to be the same. But up here where it says boundary type extents box, instead what I'm going to select is this option called selected edges. That gives me the ability to select the edges that I'd like to deburr. So I'm going to left click here. Let's left click that one. And let's left click the very top of those holes. That looks great. So we're going to right hand mouse click and let 1CNC generate the toolpath. And there you go. 1CNC has quickly applied the deburr operation to just the edges that we selected. It's a very powerful command provided by 1CNC. Thanks so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.